Peace, my name is Haven Bullets, and today, as you can see, I, my channel has been struck. Two of my channels have been struck, actually, by Antonio Moore. Who's Antonio Moore? That's Tone Talks. He flagged down the video I took and put up on my channel so people can see clearly that this whole DOS fuckboy movement is anti-black immigrant, pro-swirling, um, Evat saying stupidness like she always says and I don't know how people just let this fly over her head that being white is to be normal and we need to be normal and we want to get to a point where we want to be normal and she disrespects the whole concept of blackness and, and in this also in this video you can see that their understanding of who is and who is not our people and it makes it clear for everybody See, they didn't want that out there because they didn't want the people to see clips like this. And so, and, and what's the trip, Yvette, is, is, is we look at this thing and we have to ask, if, if I'm not 5%, and this is me, I'm 5% Nigerian and I'm I'm 7 to 10% British, I have a piece of me that's Scandinavian, I'm 30% Benin, I'm 20% the Congo and a mix of other things, 1% Native American, Looking beyond native black American partnerships, you know, DOS partnerships, looking beyond that. How is it within race to marry a hundred percent Nigerian, if I'm only five percent Nigerian, but out of race to marry a white person that may be twenty percent British? Has our technology, Ancestry.com 23andMe, tore a hole in the whole concept of race? I, and I would argue, yeah. I mean, I, I think that in many instances, what you know, there was a great there was a great point made that led to a good discussion. But I disagree with the point where uh, a young lady, a young a woman came on my channel and she basically said, "Well, people procreate with people that look like them and share their culture." Well, in this case, what you have to look at is, well, you would have more culture in common being an African American, four hundred years in America, never been to Africa, and if you you know. With, with someone white, and then also you may even look more like the white person because of the mix that you are. You heard him, family. He literally tried to delegitimize the whole concept of race. He literally just sat there and said that it makes sense for a, a black person to actually marry and have kids with a white person because we're the same culturally and we might look more like them and we might be genetically closer to them. That's what he was saying which is disgusting and tried to pretend like that that wouldn't be technically swirling because your race should be your group that you're culturally connected to so we're culturally connected to white people so by definition those are he's basically trying to say those are kind of our people and if you was to squirrel with them and have kids with them those kids are our people and don't come here talking about what makes people ain't black I don't want to hear nothing about that I just want to this is for an illustration to show people his mindset and you can better understand how he feels about black immigrants, him and Yvette, when you hear clips like this. Right. And that's what it was. It's not about it's not about it's not about whether or not you get to marry a white person. It's about it's about how you locked us over here. You know, and how she tried to say that like we're not American. We're just as American as you. You know, Queen Nazuri, I shout you out because you support both of our channels, and we all gonna be able to have this discussion. You said to 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 to, to be something about having two black parents. Well, I challenge that because I'm questioning: Are we talking about two black parents that are descendants of American slavery, slavery native blacks, or are we just saying any African country, from 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 Ethiopia to South Africa? And so, like, I challenge that because now, if you're saying that, does it also include people who sold us into slavery? So, so you as a black person can marry somebody whose family sold you into slavery, and you're within race. The Queen of Zuri, Queen of Zuri. As you just heard, he says he rejects the notion that two black people can produce a baby that is a part of our group, our race. Just two black people. As you heard, he said, what if the baby, the person has a DOS parent and an African parent? He rejects that, that those two uh, African coming together with a DOS person can produce 
a baby that is a part of our group. Which is, again, him claiming that a swirl baby, half white baby, majority white baby, is our people because of culture. But an all black baby is not our people because they're not in our culture. And then he brought up some stupid point about Africans sold us into slavery. When again, that's a whole, I already dealt with that a whole time ago. A whole long time ago. But even if that is the case, you were to marry and have a baby with somebody who was African, who had an ancestor who sold slaves, that baby would still be a part of our race. That would still be a, a black baby, a part of the black race. But in this video, if you could go watch it for yourself, because I'm going to get this video back up so people can see it. He Again, he challenges and says the whole concept of race is, is fake. So it's just we should just focus on culture. And this is what I'm saying, family. This DOS fuckboy movement is anti-black immigrant. He this hit, he just you just heard him say that he doesn't accept the concept that a a black person, DOS, can have a baby with an African and they and that baby is just our people. Just because he has two black parents. You heard it, and Yvette was there and she agreed with that. This is why when I made the video about Tariq and all of them attacking Angela Lee. I say Angela Lee, excuse me. Angela Ra and attacking Roland Martin because they have foreign, I mean, foreign black ancestry, black immigrant ancestry. That's why they were doing it. I told y'all, this is what that move, this movement is about. And this is when them, they say in DOS. This is before ADOS. This is when they were just DOS. This is, this is a clip from almost a year ago. And I'm going to end this video right here. Like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment. Tell me what you think. Now you see why they flagging me. And and this is for all the fuck boys who are going to watch this video. I thought I was nobody and I wasn't making an impact. But it, I'm, it's, look like, it's looking like I'm making an impact. I'm, it's people saying, well, oh, you're only getting like 100 views on your videos. Well, your leaders and your founders are part of that 100. How you feel? Y'all making videos, bigging up this DOS shit to the to the max. And the people who found it, who y'all dick riding, not paying y'all no attention and don't give a fuck about y'all. While I'm disrespecting them to the max and they worried about what I got to say. You bigging them up, you sending them money, they don't give a fuck about you. But I don't give a fuck about them and they care about me. Because there'll be more responses to these type of videos that I'm going to continue to make. While you're going to continue bigging them up, giving them money, making them videos, helping them to get more clout and money, and they're not going to even say good job to you or thank you. And again, family, in the first clip I played, he said outside of two DOS parents, who else could we consider? What other um, combinations could we consider our people? And that's when he made up the point about ma marrying and dealing with a white person. Because we have the same culture. And in the second clip, he rejects the concept that two black people can just produce a baby that is a part of our group. And again, I'm going to end this video right here. And on that note, family, peace.